He's yes. seconding the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I beg to second this motion. Um, the amendment to the motion. The amendment to the motion. Yeah. Uh, Madam Speaker, there is a very important point that Senator Ochilo Ayako is making that perhaps we may lose as a Senate. The reason why the Constitution 2010 was amended and to take our out powers from anybody else, even the Speaker or the Executive in determining the calendar of the House, including the procedures of this House, was because there is a history, Mr. Madam Speaker, where the executive used to manipulate parliament in the old days. This amendment is very important. It may look so superfluous. It may even look like it's so obvious because nobody had opposed meeting uh, online. But it's important that it is known and it is, it is in public domain that the calendar of this house, including whether members will meet virtually or not, is determined by the members themselves. So that, Madam Speaker, this is not left to the determination of the chair of a committee or the Speaker of the House or any other powers. So it may look like, and I, I really appreciate the thinking of Senator Ochilo Ayako, who is a senior lawyer, uh, Madam Speaker, and one of my brightest students, um, Madam Speaker, for I had initially, when I looked at this amendment, I thought, ah, this man is just adding unnecessary amendments to this motion to derail the debate in this house. But the uptake of this amendment is to, de to, to make it abundantly clear that it's only members of this house, through resolutions of this house, that can determine how committees meet, uh, the period of time it takes for committees to meet, the manner in which the committees will meet, and whether or not we can adjourn the proceedings of this house at any given time. And I therefore want to persuade my colleagues that we adopt this amendment as an addition to the main motion. I know we are going to make contributions to the main motion, and I may not get uh, the similar time that I got in uh, uh, seconding this motion to say this. That, Madam Speaker, again, I was of the opinion originally that we should not adjourn even for a day that our calendar, we must meet every week. But I understand, I was persuaded when I realized that the calendar already indicates that we are going for recess on 16th of April, meaning that we are only forfeiting two sittings of next week and the week after. Thereafter, we go for the recess that was already planned and come back on 11th of May and now follow our calendar as it is. It's because of that reason that I was persuaded that we can take the two weeks as a break, the committees continue meeting as suggested by Senator Ochilo Ayako, virtually, as many times as dictated by the standing orders, so that we can continue the business of this House. Madam Speaker. Mm -hmm. Madam Speaker. Honorable Senators, please console in low tones. Madam Speaker, protect me from Senator. Is going on. Senator Chiriot, Madam Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, Madam Speaker, I am saying this with uh, utmost respect, that time is not on our side. I hope it has occurred to all of us that there are only 16 months to the elections. And Madam Speaker, perhaps only 10 months. We have less than, actually, we have about seven months before we go for the annual recess and come back in February 2021, which means we lose about two months out of the 16 months remaining. And when we come back in February, we go back for our party nominations, which ends around April. And thereafter, some members here will have lost their party tickets. Some members will have gone to become campaigners, governors. It may be only that we have less than six or seven months productive in this house. One of the reasons why we should not have long recess period is because we have no time anyway. So we take only the two weeks out of uh, the old calendar, come back on, on 11, and I suggest, Madam Speaker, when we come back on 11, we must increase the frequency of our meetings between May, June, July, August, uh, September, October. 
Thereafter, I don't think there will be any very, very profitable time we are going to contribute from there from November going ahead. The last thing I want to say is that even part of the reasons why members are saying committees must meet is one, to deal with the question of oversight. Madam Speaker, you know last time we went for recess, some darkness that came where oversight was not going on in this house, you know that we had a cancer scandal. And there's a possibility that when we, if we were to close this house without even the committee's meeting, there's a possibility that the house will not have an opportunity to intervene Honorable if Senators, another situation was to occur. Please console quietly. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I don't I can't know where this consultation is. Maybe uh, in the corridors. Especially at the entrance, Sakina Madam Tams, Speaker. Please check. Check what is going on because thank I'm you. hearing some noise. Yeah. So it is to enable us to carry out our oversight responsibilities. Number two, we also have to meet to perform our responsibilities. We cannot continue earning salaries and having been elected by the people of Kenya to protect them from this pandemic we can't go into hiding, Madam Speaker, we are the ones, we are, and expect the other leaders from I don't know where to think about the, the things that are affecting the people of Kenya. We didn't know that it was, it, was going to open in, it was going to happen in less than five years. Now we are in a situation where we do not know when is the next time the curfew will be reviewed? In fact, I will want us to ponder and think. Senior Councils are here, Senator Mogheni, uh, Senator uh, Amos Wako, Emerita, Senator Orengo, and the team that is here. Is it really right for a country to have a curfew that is indefinite? Is it really right for a country to have measures that do not have timelines, not even timeline for review? Are we going to remain as a country in darkness as it is? How are we going to achieve that? If the legal committee will continue meeting, as suggested by Senator Ochiloyako, they can be able to advise the country about the uh, legality and viability of these measures that have been put in place. Madam Speaker, for the benefit of the people of Kenya, for us to think about hustlers that are suffering at the moment, people who have no jobs, people who, are, who have no uh, so social protection, for us to recommend to this government to go back to the social safety nets that they had provided before, including tax measures that are going to protect the people of Kenya. I really support this motion and uh, that we should amend to ensure that committees continue meeting uh, uh, virtually as we've always done for the period that we've uh, witnessed this COVID for the last one year. Madam Speaker, I beg to second. Uh, thank you, Senator. Honorable Senators. Honorable Senators, I would now like to propose